marijuana prohibition has failed. Though it may have been well-intentioned to begin with, marijuana prohibition has been ineffective at reducing cannabis availability and has instead created many problems. The most obvious concerns relate to the growth of organized crime and gang violence. But what about the $1 trillion that has been spent on the war on drugs in North America over the last 40 years? Despite this astronomical price tag and ever-growing rates of marijuana-related arrests, the price of marijuana has gone down, while the potency has gone up. Things have become so bad these days that young people have easier access to marijuana than to alcohol and cigarettes. This whole thing has been a huge failure. Policy has to change. In British Columbia, the marijuana market is estimated to be worth up to $7 billion, double the total revenue of BC's agriculture, forestry, and fishing sectors combined. These massive illegal revenues fuel crime, violence, and corruption across the province and help fund criminal activities like importing cocaine and guns. While marijuana use is not free from harms, health experts have concluded that alcohol and tobacco are much more dangerous. In fact, experts believe that a regulated legal market for adult marijuana use is the best way to protect public health and improve public safety. The strict regulation of marijuana has the potential to eliminate the violent illegal marijuana market and to raise untold tax revenue, while at the same time ending wasteful marijuana law enforcement spending that only drains tax dollars. Most importantly, BC is ready for this. A recent poll concluded that 69% of British Columbians state that arresting marijuana producers and sellers is ineffective, and that BC would be better off taxing and regulating the use of marijuana. Marijuana prohibition has failed. It's time to stop the violence.